Howdy, peeps and peoples. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. We're on this job today. I want to share with you all. Oh, I'm getting in. I'm going to get into some hard hand cutting trees on the property line and around some buildings and stuff like that on Mark's job here. And uh, Mark's a very good landowner, uh, and uh, we want to take a damn good job with, uh, uh, with him. <clears throat> and these trees we're cutting around got a lot of cow pasture fence and stuff like that so we got plenty of obstacles and I thought it'd be a good time through all these obstacles to share a little bit of timber cutting uh, I wouldn't say tips but then again it could be tips for some people that's watching it for that uh, but mostly just showing y'all what we're doing having a good time doing it so I hope you all like this and uh, and uh, let me know what you think of it. Hope you all enjoy. here in the corner and here's the corner right here and that's Guberman on up that fence row and then this is uh, his lane coming in here this cool landowner been a good dude bought me a beer yesterday <laughs> so and up here is uh, the red oak tree with nowhere to go if I hit that hickory it'll ride that hickory down and then uh, yeah boy so we're gonna have to do a pretty good job of putting him right through that hole, but we gotta pull him because he's leaning on the Guberman. You can't tell through this hickory, little hickory tree, what's this red oak's leaning towards, but we'll set it up, we'll cut it, so. Roger's pulling out, Roger's right on me. Robin and Ann, they're tinying out right there, so. Scoozy. So here we go.
includes today's performance. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have a personality for it right now. We'll get her out of here. Tootaloo. That looks like we're at it again. These white oaks are leaning all over this equipment shed, and he's got it full of his nice tractors in there. So we have got to get this stuff away from this building. Best thing I can come up with is cutting them with pudding, or not pudding, cutting them with a chainsaw. They're not laying horrible, so as long as I don't screw them up, they'll go okay. But let's get at it. Try not to screw these up. <laughs> cool little scenario here we're up at another property corner me and Roger's been cutting this out and don't let the knock down limbs fool you there's there's little uh, white oaks all over I mean all over so this is like daggone it's hard to get around in here and in this corner this line runs down here corners right there at that T at post that marker and then heads out this way and it's a 90 degree corner and it's tight 
and we have all these white oaks and we've say you know i've scratched that one i scratched that one one of them uh, i think a poplar tree no that red oak from up there but there's like four or five big trees here and then a bunch of little scrub and i cut the scrub out and i did cut one little white oak tree out because i had to make space for all these tops to go over and lay without knocking anything over the lines and knocking out fence and that good mess now there's a good chance a high probability roger's not gonna be able to pull that stuff out of there and come through that turn and head up over the hill on a skid road without dinging that little white oak tree but i i think as a i think as a rule of thumbs grading on an average pretty good we do got one red oak tree left and he is leaning to the east across the way and we're going to try to and i'm still trying to save this little white oak tree here so we're going to try to uh set him up and somehow finagle brutus in here and get this tree pulled with brutus so i don't slow roger down and get that fell over in our hoe we made and it should fit over there but it's not going to be simple simple because it's red oak red oak will bust easier we'll leave a fat hinge on especially on this side and then uh brutus ain't gonna be able to do a lot of good with that white oak tree sitting there but he'll do good enough to get the weight started moving and hopefully gravity will take over kinetic energy will build up and down she goes in the right spot so let's get started you ain't gonna be able to see real good i ain't got a good angle on this and i have nothing metal to tie to back here let's try this see if this will help you guys if this will uh i'm gonna turn you just a little bit <laughs> y'all get a good angle of that was a little hard on the stump don't care tops look good we could have been a little easier on this tree but i didn't want to chance it if i'd have took more off of it been a little easier on it but it had so much side lean being a red oak you can get cockier doing extra hinge fiber on a red oak but i probably should have been nicer to the stump i might have not should have put in that third triple hinge i probably should have double hinged it instead of triple hinged it you know give it a little bit of relief because uh but the uh, canopy looks good or white oaks look good we beat up that white oak tree a little bit with the red oak tree we kind of screwy wobbled down earlier but other than that i think we're good we got one to do up there on the corner on the edge and then get our butts back to moving some wood 